Okay. Good. Thank you for the introduction. So, what are we doing at Deutsche Telekom? Allow me to start a little bit different. Yes, I'm called Senior Vice President Design at Deutsche Telekom, but I would like to introduce myself a little bit different, which is important. Um, with these two wonderful examples, I'm there. If you talk about relevance, it's about Am I relevant? I'm doing something which makes sense. Do you think about what is what you did better since yesterday? Where you create value? What is where you're not talking about innovation? You're doing something. And therefore, because of this reason, I developed 20 years ago around something it called offboard navigation. And you can see that here, 2,000 marks where we developed that. So I'm in my heart, a developer and an inventor, and you can see that I think today you would not pay 2,000 marks for that, and we know exactly what it is today. Another example, what happened in the past, where you can see what I'm doing, is you know this old phone. It's old, but everybody recognized I need to go at home to make a call. Therefore, we developed something called CNETs, where you had the wonderful pleasure to pay 30,000 marks only to make a call on the motor highway. And a lot of people ask, who should pay for something which is eight kilogram heavy and just make a call on an automotive highway? Today, I think nobody will talk about that anymore. And now we are working on the next level, um, it means contextual development on mobile devices. You can see here our new solution, which is a home management system. Normally, you have 10 or 20 remote controls at home. Why? It's not necessary. You have your phone, you can manage that, and therefore, we launched it already, but it will continue to manage your rooms, wherever you are, to manage your emotions at home if you want to have it a little bit cozy, or if you want to have it very busy, and therefore you can manage that with this small device. That's what I am. I love to do things which make sense, giving an answer and not selling something. So I want to hear what is the problem and find a solution. So why is this needed if we talk about relevance? Here are only some numbers. We had yesterday the discussion, if we talk about relevance in the world first, we need to hear a little bit things like in 2025, 1.8 billion people have a problem with to find water. Two thirds of all people will have problems with water. If we talk about things like that, or resources, or what's going on in the world, actually, I think this is the most relevance we can talk about how can we support in all with all these skills here in the room to solve these problems and to use things like that. You can see here some other numbers which are important. I have another one. During the time we are sitting here today, 600,000 new web pages. Every month, 20,000 new apps. Six, um, the UNESCO said 2020, you have every 33 days um, a double sizing of the knowledge because of the different connection. And I think you all know that 10 years ago we had 500 apps, now we have thousands and top, 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 top apps. So from a communication point of view, for me, the consumption of content will change definitely because top, top, top apps, app stores for me are dead. So therefore, this is just an example how we handle with these big numbers. And if we look at 2023, only just some projects, you can exactly know how many money is invested in 2023 today? Here you see an example, it's just an example. And if you see these numbers, this will influence customer experience. And it doesn't matter which company, of, if small or big like ours, or startups, it doesn't matter. This will influence customer experience. So therefore, allow me a short movie to give you a little bit of impression what will happen in 2023.
only just some examples um, for two major things. Yeah? If you think about everybody talks about innovation, an honest word, I would prefer to talk about relevance. Do we have no back? I would love to talk about relevance. Why? If people, you saw that, just one example, 48% of all Germans will have in two, will be over 50 in 2023, and 60% of them will lose their cognitive um, possibilities. If you have that, you don't care about technology gadgets. So therefore, for me, it's everything what we are doing, and I think we can do a lot of things together here, um, solving a problem, making things better, and make it relevant. And then we are on the right track. And if you have in mind, and please think about that, how many things you are doing through your day where you care about PowerPoint, talks, 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 instead of doing something which makes relevance. So I want to avoid all these other topics. And this picture is there to explain a little bit what I believe is the future of 2023. You have two kinds of relevancy. The first is care about the earth and the problems we have. And communication can do a lot of things there if you see about uh, energy management, etc. And we can use this network, which is so powerful, the, um, to make these things better. It's about the whole customer experience. Second, after the um, time of mass production, we had the time of mass modularization, where you can uh, put things together. But now we are in a time of mass personalization. And if you use this methodology, it's not anymore about target groups. Everybody is a target group with the technology we have in 2023. If you bring the mixture of things together. So the question is now how we handle customer experience at Deutsche Telekom and what are we doing with these things? So I have one PowerPoint here with me. The first thing is what we are doing because this influences everybody and therefore we need to know is if we talk about the future it's about knowledge and we are not only looking for technology which is not enough we heard it earlier we look about macroeconomics we look about the markets the different markets it's not about the separation between telecommunication internet companies customers don't care about it so if we talk about customer experience, it's not we are coming from, I had a discussion yesterday evening with Hildegard, cars are the same thing because it works together. So everything grows together, so we need to care about that and also what's going on in lifestyle. We developed since eight years a wonderful network around the world with 380 people from universities, schools, different markets, cars, doesn't matter, and we talk about that, what for us is the main important thing. And out of that, we have these disruptive drivers for future customer experience, and we use them. I will give you an example. You see here as well, singularity, so which is one example. Tomorrow you can hear about gamification, which is great. And the mixture makes customer experience. So it's not having a few from today, from my single point of view, it's more about how can I solve a topic, because everything in technology is possible then. In 2023, technology is ambient. It's not smart, it's ambient. You can't recognize it because everybody can, everything can talk with you about that. So, and what we are doing, and this is for me is the main topic. We have an area and we build it up. We um, the be, be relevant topic, you can see here, People always have a home 10,000 years ago, in 10,000 years, hopefully as well. We move, we work. If we are not healthy, we don't care about anything. So education, we want to be secure and energy as a main driver for the relevant topics. So these things will never change. The what is not the topic, the how, that's what changed definitely often and often. And what we are doing with all these technology stuff, we are looking for what makes this thing better or easier. So this is how we handle this customer experience management. And we start in 2008, we see the Pure 100, 100% access company. And in this access company, we had wonderful colleagues and we built up something, what you can see here our 2023 customer experience 
future, how we see it, how it works together, because to make that happen, and here you can have just a few, you need to experience that, um, we build it up. What the full network means, we call it the digital flow, because if everything is a network, you need to think about for all your areas in big companies, which HR resources you need. Not more engineers, more artificial intelligence people, or gamification guys. So what we did in this small team, we start with three, and we are now a little bit more from 26 nations. And um, what we did is we built up the area of home, what you can see here, on the move, and we show the people how it influences each other. And what does that mean, for example, to make it live? But some of you may know the sentence of Mr. Schmidt, our former chancellor, who said, if you have a vision, you should go to the doctor. That's not what we want to do, so we make it live. And the first step, what we did, is something what you can see, which is a natural piece in the automotive industry, but we did it as well. If you want to build a full customer experience, you need to build the modules to make it happen. I will give you an example. If you want to have a login, how many numbers you have in your head every day to use login? Why you don't have one? How many email contacts you have? I can add, add, add a lot of things and how you recognize things. What is always the same? And what is always new? How we handle that, if you remember all these changes of information. This is what we, we are ready at the end of this year. And the team did a wonderful job. These are ready-coded components. We shorten our development times. We see standard modules, which is always great. And everybody in the world can build now Deutsche Telekom products, which is cool to exploit our network. So allow me to give you some examples that you're not thinking about. She's only talking about the future. No, we are doing that. And before I show you what we're doing with some of these examples, I think it's also important that you have a little bit the patience and the time. It's a little bit like Hartmut Esslinger said to me, 1% is the idea, 9% is luck, and you need 90% power and passion and stay until you have it. And this is what we are doing, and here you can see the result. We start with the products people love. So watching TV or watching something entertainment is always since our product entertained in 2008, a single closed product, and we changed it into that, which is a fully open platform where we're working on and with social media where you can have contacts and it works with each other. We have seven times more customers now during this time, which is always good because it ensures a little bit the belief in this kind of work. If we talk about how to enter the network of Deutsche Telekom, the most important topic I have there is how to manage contextual the content in this network. But all our customers, the biggest topic is how can I have this on the left side where we start and make it simple. So innovation sometimes, it not, it's not to do something which is new. It's sometimes a little bit like cleaning. And then you have something what customers love, and it creates another customer loyalty. So therefore, I love that. A total other example, what you can see here, we call it Tolino. It's an open platform for reading, which is also an important topic. And here you can see a small team start with that. And I love this because the left, on the left side, the Tolino, the first we launch, and you can see the results only some quarters after we launched that. And do you know the reason of the success? Why this small team said, hey, Amazon, we are also here. These old provider, let's see that. The reason was that. The most successful book is Shades of Grey. And the most target group actually reading that, um, on ebooks are women over 40, because they don't want that you can see what they are reading. So therefore, that's easy. We did something which is material. So you can see here also, it's not about always technology. And they love this Tolino. And the material is very cozy and very wonderful. And you can touch it. You love to read with that. And the good thing is that the people working on that or the customers using that, they don't want to change it now into a better one. 
which is wonderful. So therefore, here you can see an example with a sm how a small thing can create relevance. Do you know that I have something which me, with me to show you a little bit how to exploit the network? Everybody knows this normal situation. You, are, you want to pay, a lot of people are behind you, and you hate that. So therefore, what we develop that's easy because technology-wise, we can do everything. And this is a new prototype with a chip, what you only have on your fingers, and he knows that's me, and I can pay with that because he is the chip inside. So it's easy. So innovation and disruption comes from solving the problem. And don't talk about the next router. It's about solving a problem. And if there is one, we do that. We launched, therefore, Mobile Wallet, which is a starting point, successful in Germany and in Poland. And here I have another example which is important for me if we talk about relevance. If we talk about technology, singularity, 4D printing, robotic, and whatever, do you think that these devices could be successful? I don't think so. Everybody said fixed, lines are, fixed line phones are dead. They are not. Do you know why? Families, more than 30 million, want just to make a call at home. So therefore, we did something. We launched this device. And what should I say? After three days, the first red ones are sold out. A lot of other operators get design licenses now to have the phone as well in their portfolio. So here you can see my belief is answering a question, and then you have success. So, therefore, we have in these five years of the build-up of this team, and I need to say, I know that some of them are watching us here, I need to say, you did it, you did relevance, and I want to thank you all for wherever you are there. This is the success of a team. In five years, we did 450 design awards and IPRs. Is this relevant? I don't think so. This is relevant. The change of the company into, I want these products. They solve me a problem. And if you get these numbers, you can continue what you are doing. And then you don't have a problem with what you are doing. So finally, allow me to say, be relevant is for me something which creates for me belief. I need to have a sin what I'm doing and not a title. I need to have a sin. and giving a solution. I can say that, that we are doing that and with these wonderful people there. And therefore, I would recommend to do that. Our lifetime is short and let's be relevant. Thank you very much. Thank you.